Good afternoon, Mr. Chairman and distinguished members of the council. My name is Brian Brazier. Um, I'm here today to oppose these bills wearing three different hats, really. First off, as a human being. Second off, as a resident of Waikiki and a taxpayer. And third off, as the civil rights and constitutional law attorney who has spent the better part of a thousand hours challenging what are known as Bill 7 and Bill 54. Um, and I'm currently seeking over $200,000 in attorney's fees from the city in response to those lawsuits. So I think I know a little bit about what I'm talking about here. <laughs> As a human being, I think these laws are morally reprehensible. I think they're absolutely unconscionable, as many other members have testified, and I'm sure many more will. Um, the managing director, Shin, said the purpose is not to criminalize uh, homelessness. I don't see how she can say that with a straight face, given that that's exactly what it does. It criminalizes human existence. That's what it does. As a resident and a taxpayer, it bothers me that when I hear that $15,000 is spending on each one of these sweeps to steal property from homeless people. I have no idea what it's going to cost to incarcerate people under these bills when that inevitably happens, but it's not going to be cheap. That money is better spent to lift people up rather than drive them down. It's better spent trying to get them to be productive members of our community rather than criminalizing them and giving them a criminal record that eventually prevents them from having a productive existence. The state of Utah, in a Housing First program, has said on the record that they will have eradicated houselessness in the state of Utah by 2015. Eradicated it. Gone. As a constitutional law attorney, these laws are not going to pass constitutional muster. The Seattle law that the mayor referred to is fundamentally different in scope in that it covers a much narrower geographic region and it covers much narrower hours of the day. These aren't going to pass. And I can promise you it's not whether, it's not if, it's only when I bring a lawsuit to challenge these bills if you guys pass them. It's going to happen. So I strongly encourage you not to pass these bills because not only are they morally reprehensible, not only will they be extremely expensive, not only will they not work, but they're going to lose and you're going to pay me to challenge them. <laughs>